so welcome students to one more session we have already seen work done that is your pv work we have learned to work done in a reversible that is isothermal reversible expansion as well as work done and an isothermal irreversible expansion then i taught you what how is the work done in an reversible adiabatic process now we will finish off with work done in an irreversible adiabatic process right now reversible process so here as we have done in isothermal we are going to study under free expansion in vacuum so when an ideal gas expands adiabatically in vacuum that is volume from v1 to v2 okay this is irreversible irreversibly then what will happen to work done so basically work done is equal to minus p external v2 minus v1 right so again the same thing because in a va in vacuum there is no external pressure so what will happen to work done it will become equal to zero right so students let's come back and see the next concept that is now uh, basically we uh, completed the free expansion vacuum isn't it now we'll see what happens when ideal gas <coughs> let's write when ideal gas is expanded adiabatically so that is what we took isn't it work done in an irreversible adiabatic expansion expanded adiabatically okay from what from the volume volume v1 to v2 but what is the condition it should be irreversible in nature irreversible that's important and what should be the pressure up to a constant external pressure up to constant external pressure okay right. so what is constant external pressure denoted by p external isn't it now so and one more condition is if p external is less than p gas so with these conditions let us start then what will happen if i take this conditions and write what will be the work done so your work done will be minus p external v2 minus v1 isn't it now from uh, basically this is uh, adiabatic process so again i'll go back to first law according to first law of thermodynamics so what is first law of thermodynamics it's basically it is noted by dq is equal to du plus dw right now because it's an adiabatic process dq will become zero then this is du plus dw right let us write the reason for adiabatic process q is constant so zero is equal to u this can be written as n cv dt correct which we have already seen earlier plus w can be written as pdv so zero is equal to n cv dt means change in temperature t2 minus t1 plus v means dv is v2 minus v1 this can be further written as like you know if i uh, rearrange and write this can be written as p minus p into v2 minus v1 is equal to i'm getting this side plus will become minus is equal to n cv t2 minus t1 Correct? Yes. So get this V2 min V2 minus V1 this side is equal to N C V by P. I'm getting it down P V T2 minus T1. Now, <coughs> so uh, instead of this V, here you have your V2 minus V1. Substitute this value in this equation. So when I substitute this value in the equation, what do I get? I get work done is equal to N C V p external by p t2 minus t1 what is p now p is the pressure of gas right hope the concept is clear students now uh, like uh, basically i have done four types of uh, uh, work done concepts one is your um, pv work right then i did isothermal reversible expansion of gas then i did isothermal 
irreversible expansion of gas then i did adiabatic reversible expansion and adiabatic irreversible expansion so hope the concept is clear student the derivation also is clear now let us take one numerical and do for this concept so let's come back and solve one numerical based on your adiabatic irreversible expansion of gas right let's read the question what do they give us two moles of a monoatomic gas expands adiabatically in a reversible manner okay so here the question is based on the reversible manner it seems okay it's easy only that's true on heating 27 degrees to uh to 327 degrees centigrade then calculate total change in internal energy of the uh, entire process so basically what should i find out i need to find out total change in internal energy that is du i should find out internal energy is denoted by u isn't it right so first of all we know that change in internal energy du formula what is it given by du is equal to cn cv dt what is this formula this is change in internal energy formula okay right now so this can be written as du is equal to n cv <coughs> t2 minus t1 isn't it right so now what is n here this is two moles so this two moles i'm taking it here n is equal to two moles fine next um cv and this i know now so cv is equal to how much is the value it is nothing but 3 by 2 r why did i take this for monoatomic gases this is the formula isn't it see here they've given monoatomic gas so for monoatomic gases cv value is equal to 3 by 2 r right next one temperature t1 is 27 degree centigrade so we will add one more 273 to make it into kelvin this is nothing but 300 kelvin second value t2 is 327 plus 273 so this will, this will become 300 uh, 600 kelvin okay now let us put the values in the sum so now putting all these values in equation what do i get i get du is equal to 2 moles into 3 by 2 into r 600 minus 300 kelvin so this one when i solve 3 to the this one let us write 3 into 2 into okay calories I'm getting that calories kilo mole into 600 minus 300 is 300 mole per kelvin just i rearranged it so du value is equal to when i solve I get an answer of 3 to the 6, 6 3 to 18, 1800 calories. Isn't it? Yes. So, this is your uh, uh, concept, students. This is how you need to calculate. From the, This is a type of numerical they will give you <coughs> to calculate. That is internal energy from the adiabatic processes. So, hope the all the different types of work done are clear, students. Any doubt, uh, let me know. Because uh, my intention for doing this is all the derivation will be done very fast. Because otherwise, doing one after the other will take time. So, I opted this method.